What's going on everybody? Align Gonzalez here and in this video we are going to talk about building muscle faster. In the beginning it's as simple as keeping a mindful eye on your nutrition, going into the gym consistently, and maybe even sleeping enough. But there will come a time in your training where things slow down and eventually if you don't adjust things will stop. Okay. And so a lot of the people that I see or that you might see at your gym have been going to the gym for years, but they look exactly the same. Okay. And it's because once they pass that newbie phase, they get stuck. Okay. And today I'm going to teach you what you need to be doing in your training in order to get past that phase or that plateau. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so in the beginning, you are training um, in, a, uh, in a linear fashion, right? And so what that means is basically that your goal is simply to add more weight to the bar each time you go to the gym and perform the same exercise. However, at a certain point, that's just not going to be possible. And that's when it becomes very important to train the three different mechanisms of muscle growth. All right, so we'll start with mechanical tension. This is what happens when we train with a heavy load or a high intensity for, uh, this typically will happen in the one to six rep range, but you will get some mechanical tension as you get into the 12 or eight to 12 rep range, um, but you won't get much uh, any further than that, right? Because at that point, the intensity is just not high enough. All right, then we have muscle damage. This is what happens when we are training with a moderate load for an extended period of time. Okay. It also happens when we focus a lot on slow negatives and things of that nature. And then we have metabolic stress, which is the kind of stress that increases the lactate threshold. Um, it's basically the, the, that feeling of that burn or that pump in the muscle, uh, when you feel like your arms are going to explode, uh, that's, metabolic stress. And so all of these work together or they can if you periodize your training properly. Okay. So if you put them all together, you're going to get sort of a virtuous cycle of muscle gains. Now let me explain. Okay. When we train for mechanical tension, we are really increasing strength. Okay. And we are going to build a significant of amount of muscle from focusing on mechanical tension. Okay. When we train for muscle damage, we are again going to be building muscle mainly by the increase in volume because the intensity is still moderate, right? And because you are doing eight to 12 reps, you are keeping that muscle under tension for a prolonged period of time. All right. And so when we get stronger here, we will also be stronger here and here. Okay. When we build muscle, right, we will also get stronger. Okay. Because a bigger muscle is a stronger muscle. All right. And then metabolic stress. Okay. This happens when we train in a higher rep range with a lower intensity. Okay. And so what happens here is that we increase the lactate threshold, our ability to fight through that burn. And so that spills over into our uh, strength training and our hypertrophy training. Okay. So that we can train with a heavier load for a prolonged period of time. Okay. And so that's how they kind of all work together. Okay. Mechanical tension makes you stronger so that you're stronger in your other rep ranges. And when you become stronger in the eight to 12 rep range, for example, you will build more muscle, which will also make you stronger. See how it kind of works together. And then the same thing with metabolic stress, with metabolic stress, you are building, uh, again, the lactate threshold that's going to allow you to do your heavier work for a longer period of time. Maybe you'll get more reps, things of that nature. And so you'll grow that way. All right. So now let's talk about how you can implement each one of these into your training. The way I like to do it is through daily undulating periodization. Okay. So how does that work? Very, very simple. 
Okay, you're gonna have one day where you, you focus on strength, so you train maybe in the three to six rep range, for example. You might have a hypertrophy day where you train in the eight to 12 rep range, and then you'll have your metabolic stress day where you'll train with a lighter load for a higher volume, okay? Now, depending on what your goals are, you may have to split your training up in a different way. But for the sake of this video, let's just assume that you are going to be doing a full body three days a week, right? So the first day would be your heavy day or your strength day, right? The second day will be your hypertrophy day where it's um, still a moderate intensity, but it's higher volume, okay? And then the third day would be your metabolic stress day where you'll go lower intensity for more volume. Okay, that way you're getting all these adaptations and they're kind of feeding each other. Okay, so you're getting bigger and stronger, bigger and stronger um, over the course of, you know, whatever, your, your macro cycle, meso cycle, and so forth. Okay? All right, now that we understand the three mechanisms of hypertrophy or muscle growth, now let's talk about the four main variables in your training. Okay, when you understand these, this will make more sense, all right? So let's talk about volume. Volume is essentially the amount of work that you do. So sets times reps times load. Okay, the reason that your reps are important is number one, they determine uh, how long the muscle stays under tension, which uh, dictates what energy system we use to move that weight. So that kind of determines whether we're training for strength hypertrophy, endurance, and so forth. Um, and it also adds to the total load, right? So if you're doing four sets of 10 with 100 pounds, right, that's going to dictate your total load, all right? Now you do four sets of 12, the same weight, right? The load is going to increase, okay? If we do four sets of 10 with 105, again, the load is going to increase, all right? Now let's talk about sets. Sets are basically the one thing that you don't want to increase or decrease too much, right? We wanna have a set amount of sets that we do and past a certain point, you're gonna experience diminishing returns, okay? So there's research, plenty of research uh, on the subject but just for the sake of this video, let's just say that anywhere between three and five sets is probably going to be your sweet spot. Anything beyond that or below it is going to be not as optimal, okay? So we know that reps are important because they determine our load. We know that sets are important because as the research shows, multiple sets will produce 40% greater muscle gains than single sets, okay? So that's important too. And then obviously the load is important because that's the amount of work that we actually did, all right? Now intensity. Intensity refers to uh, how challenging that weight is for you. So in essence, it's a percentage of your one rep max or what you're actually capable of. Okay, and I'll tell you why intensity is important. Because if we know that, for example, eight to 12 reps builds muscle and we need at least four sets, well, if I took this marker here and did four sets of 12, I'm not gonna build any muscle. Why? Because the intensity is too low, right? And so a good rule of thumb is that we want to train at at least 60 to 65% of our one rep max if we want to maximize muscle growth, okay? Now that brings me back to volume. If our main focus is to build muscle, most of our work, about 75%, should come in the eight to 15 rep range, or maybe six to 12, right around there, okay? The rest of our work, that 25%, should come from strength training, okay? because again, we want to build strength so that we're stronger in our hypertrophy work, okay? Also, intensity, important because the research shows that 
when compared to uh, moderate loads and uh, lower or higher uh, volume loads, which means it's a lighter weight, um, you're going to build more muscle with a moderate or heavy load. So when you're doing moderate reps or low reps, you're going to build more muscle than you are when you're doing higher reps because the intensity matters. Now, you can build muscle with a lower intensity and higher reps. However, from what we see, it's going to take about three times more work to get the same amount of muscle growth, okay? Now let's talk about frequency. Now, obviously, we know that we should be training in the gym more than once per week, right? That should go without saying. But today, for the sake of this video, I wanna talk about the frequency in which we train each muscle group, okay? Another thing, again, that we have plenty of research on. And the sweet spot for how many times you should train a muscle group is twice per week, okay? Now, the reason is very simple. Number one, if you train a muscle group once per week, here's what happens. You're gonna increase uh, muscle protein synthesis, right? So say, for example, you trained your chest on Monday. Muscle protein synthesis goes up. After about 36 hours, it drops back down to baseline and it stays there until next Monday when you train your chest again. That's all well and good, but the individual who trains their chest twice right, is going to spend more time in a state where they are growing and building muscle, right? So they might increase uh, muscle protein synthesis, 36, hour, 36 hours later, drops back down to baseline, right? And then it's about time to train your chest again, where it elevates again, 36 hours, goes back to baseline. You get the idea, you're spending more time in a growing state when you're training a muscle more frequently. This is despite volume being equal, all right? So if the first person is doing 12 sets of chest on Monday and the second person is doing six sets on Monday and then another six sets Wednesday or Thursday, they're doing the same amount of work, but the person who trained twice is getting more growth. And then lastly, progression. Without progression, none of this matters. Okay, it doesn't matter how consistent we are, how on point our nutrition is, if we are not getting better, we are not going to get bigger. It's that simple, all right? So I'll give you a few ways that you can focus on progressing in the gym, all right? The first is the most obvious, right? Add more weight to the bar without sacrificing the sets or the reps, okay? Another thing you can do is increase the reps without sacrificing the load or the sets. So for example, if you did four sets of 10 with 135 pounds on the bench press, next time around you can do the same four sets with the same 135 pounds, but if you are able to do 12 reps instead, you are doing more work and you've gotten stronger, okay? Another way that you can progress is through density. Keep everything exactly the same, same sets, same reps, and even the same weight, but if you finish it in less time, meaning you're taking less uh, rest in between sets, you are increasing the density and thus you are getting stronger, you are progressing. And then the last one, which is one that many people ignore, is simply being able to push the same weight faster, okay? So again, for example, we do four sets, of 10 with 135 pounds, but for the last one or two reps, you're kind of grinding it out. But the next week, you do the same sets, same reps, same weight, but those last two reps come up much easier. That, my friends, is progression. That means you've gotten stronger, which means you are going to get bigger. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I have for you today. The importance of volume, intensity, frequency, and of course, progression in your training, how to put them all together to ensure that you get this virtuous cycle of gains. There you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure to grab our free gift. It's called How Actors Get Shredded. Click there, put your name in your email address. You'll get instant access to that. 
If you like this video, you'll definitely like this one and make sure to subscribe.